Hey everybody, it's Mr. Ken from the Peachtree Library for Drop Everything and Read Day. And the book I've selected today is If I Built a House by Chris Van Dusen, one of my favorite author illustrators. If I Built a House. It's all about a boy who thinks that he can design a pretty special house. So let's start. Jack in the backyard said to his mother, this house is okay, but it's like any other. It's boxy and boring and basically bland. It's nothing at all like the house I have planned. My house will be different. It can't be the norm. I'll think about traffic flow, function, and form. Oh, it may include shapes like a tower or dome, but I'll focus on what makes a building a home. It's the rooms on the inside that make it unique. So step through the door and let's take a peek. We'll start with the basics right off the bat. Check out my all-in-one kitchen, oh Matt. You don't have to cook and you don't have to clean. It's done by a space age robotic machine. It makes all the meals and the food is delish. Then it washes and puts away every last dish. The living room's next. It's fun. Come on in. The chairs and the table and sofa all spin. And trampolines lead to a giant ball pit. It's a pretty neat room, you'll have to admit. Looks like Ikea, doesn't it? Now look in the bathroom. No shower, no tub. Instead, take a ride on my scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Just step on the belt and it washes you clean even the places that you've never seen. And here is my bedroom way up in the sky on top of a tower 200 feet high with glass all around. Just check out the view, a bed in a tower. Now that's something new. The rooms we walk through just moments before are the kinds that you'll find in any decor. But if I build a house, I'd add a few more. So hop on the slide. It's time to explore. Look at the slide he has on his house. That would be special. You know how I constantly like to create? While well, this is my art room, isn't it great? You draw on the wall. Don't worry, it's cool. Hung way up high on a big giant spool is a huge roll of paper that hangs to the floor. Just draw till you're done and then pull down some more. So there's a big roll of paper. He can draw on the walls and mama won't care. And then when he's done, he just pulls down some fresh paper. That's a pretty cool idea, right? Next comes my flying room. See how it's tall. It's empty except for a switch on the wall. Just turn off the switch and you'll float off the ground. Then flap like a bird and fly all around. Isn't it nice to be up in the air? A room without gravity. That's pretty rare. That would be super fun, wouldn't it? Be like in a space station. This is my racetrack room. Step right inside. It's less like a room and more like a ride. It features a racetrack that loops all around with super fast go-karts that don't make a sound. You fly and you flip and you zip and you zoom. You have to admit it's a wonderful room. Who wouldn't like that? And it's super quiet, so mom and dad are going to be happy about that as well. A room filled with water. Now that's something new, but if I build a house, that's just what I do. This is my fish tank room. Ain't it a sight? Don't worry, they're friendly. The critters won't bite. Just strap on an air mask to swim with the fishes. Now this is a room that every kid wishes. All right, why just have an aquarium when you can have a aquarium room? just like the Georgia Aquarium in your house, right? 
Of course, I've been saving the best room for last, and literally speaking, this room is a blast, so welcome, sit down. I'll seal up the hatches. This plexiglass playroom completely detaches. You fly it around. Why, it even has jets. For me, this room is as good as it gets, right? So this room detaches, it's like a spaceship. How about that? What a great idea. My house will be nifty. My house will be neat. My house will stand out as the best on the street. Daringly bold, yet exquisitely fine. A must-see example of modern design. My house will be hailed as refreshingly new. Looks like an amusement park, doesn't it? If I build a house, that's just what I'd do. All right, so maybe you should get out your drawing board and figure out your dream house. That would be a good project. All right, thanks for listening. This has been Mr. Ken with Drop Everything and Read Day. Bye-bye.